So following on from the previous two videos, we got to this stage here. We got to um, we got to this stage here. So now it's just a matter of putting this uh, putting this into summation form. So you've got your one here. You've got your one here. Put the rest in summation form. So that would then take us to here. So now uh, now remember from the uh, from the first video. Um, if if you differentiate inverse sine of x, it will give you this. So if you integrate, so when, when you have this, when you have this, if you integrate it, it will give you inverse sine of x. So uh, so this thing here is this thing here. The point I'm trying to make is integrate this thing here. It will then integrate this thing here. Integrate this thing here. It will then give you this. It will then give you this. And then if, if you integrate this, it will give you this. So uh, so 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 from this integrate it. So you've got one here. So integrate one. So that would be. Don't forget when you integrate something, you, you're going to have a constant. So that's a constant there. And then when you integrate this, it, remember if, if you integrate x, let's say x squared, if you integrate it, you it would be one notch higher than this than the two. So it'd be three. And then and then you've got you, you've got to divide by this this thing here. So so if you if you want to integrate this uh, this thing here, it would be one notch higher than this. It would be two n plus one. But then everything else will remain the same. But then you've got to divide it by by two uh, n plus one. That's this two n plus one here. So integrate this whole thing here. It will then give you this. Uh, integrate this. That will then give you this. And then uh, now we need to find c. So um, so when x equals zero, when you put zero in here, sine inverse sine of uh, zero would be zero, and then everything else here would be zero, and then this thing here. When, when x is zero, this whole thing here would be zero. So c will be zero. So when x is zero, c will be zero. So now you can put zero into here. So it disappears. So uh, so inverse sine of x is this thing here. So this is your your Maclaurin series for inverse sine of x. Okay.